Thank you very much, Mike, as we get set. Coming up, Kaiser Weiss, Mason Cirillo, and Braden Ward as we get set for bottom five, Cal State Fullerton four, the University of Washington one. Cal State Fullerton with their four runs on seven hits and one error, and then Washington has one, two, and zero. Everyone's set here as we go over defensive lineups for Cal State Fullerton. Tommy Wilson is on the mound for Cal State Fullerton, and he's been going strong through the first four. Behind the plate is Daniel Cope. Over at first is Jake Pavlicic with Hank LaForte setting up at second. First pitch is in there for a strike to Kaiser Weiss, and he is quickly down 0-1. Down at third is Brett Forgonio, the freshman for Cal State Fullerton out of Chino Hills. And Saheed Valenzuela, the native of Yuma, Arizona, as you have heard all season long. He is at short. Wilson will go into his wine and quick pitch towards home. It gets blasted towards center field, but not quite deep enough to where Mitchell Berryhill can't get to it, and he will make the catch for out number one. So Weiss flies out into center, and one is gone as we finish off the defensive lineup for Cal State Fullerton. Fielding in left field is Chris Prescott, and in center field is Mitchell Berryhill, who recently made that catch. And in right field to round everything out is Ruben Cardenas. Next up for Washington is Mason Cirillo. Batting left-handed. He is already 0 for 2 today as he grounded out to Saheed Valenzuela and also lined out to Saheed as well. First pitch is in there for a strike as it goes towards that outside half. And it's no balls, one strike, and one gone. Sunny type day here in Fullerton. We've been mentioning what the weather has been over the last two days pretty often. And it has actually made an effect on the playing conditions so far as Wilson goes well inside and just ends up missing Cirillo. Junior who bats lefty also throws lefty as well. Everyone here at Cal State Fullerton pretty much seated with the exception of the concourses to our right and left which are sitting about five deep each way looking for the outside half is Wilson and instead he'll make it two balls and one strike the lower bowl here at Goodwin Field where the orange seats are are pretty full significantly over to our left hand side over to the right there are some spotted seats but mainly those people who recently occupied them as this one is sent towards deep right Cardenas keeps going back to the track. He will make the catch, and he will find out number two. It kept floating and kept carrying, and finally Cardenas was able to get there in time to make the catch for two gone, who is in attendance over to our left. Actually got here pretty early, and the reason being, the earlier you get, the more likely you are to have better seating closer to the field or wherever you would like to have it. Same is the case with that right field line as well, but just not as much seating as over towards the left. Tommy Wilson with a one-two count. Ward sends this one over to left. Chris Prescott will camp out underneath it and make the catch. Tommy Wilson pitches a one-two three, bottom half of the fifth. We're gonna go to top six. It is Cal State Fullerton with a three-run lead going to the top part of the sixth inning. It's four to one, Cal State Fullerton. This is Cal State Fullerton Baseball on FullertonTitans.com. Welcome back to Cal State Fullerton Baseball here on FullertonTitans.com. A new pitcher is in for Cal State Fullerton after Shaw ends up hitting the first two batters on just two pitches in the bottom half of the fifth inning with Long Beach State at the dish. So coming in will be Landon Anderson. Anderson has started one game but has six appearances to his credit. Only seven innings pitched so far in a 3.86 ERA. And to this point, he has six walks and four strikeouts as well. So the lefty is going to enter for Shaw, who makes his escape to the right field dugout. And Cal State Fullerton is trying to make sure that Long Beach State doesn't get another run on the board. They're already down by two at 4-2. And Fullerton can't really afford at this point to leave additional runs on for Long Beach State. Up next will be Tristan Mercadel once the warm-up tosses are finished by Landon Anderson. And for Mercadel in this game, he has a liner over to Brett Borgonio at third, 
and he grounded out to second. So he is 0 for 2, and Landon Anderson will finish his final warm-up time. Gives us a chance to reset the defensive lineup for Cal State Fullerton. Now Landon Anderson on the mound, and behind home plate is Daniel Cope. Over at first will be Jake Pavlicic, and at second is Hank LaForte. Down at third is Brett Borgonio with Sahid Valenzuela at short. Now in the outfield for Cal State Fullerton, it remains Richards in left, Barry Hill in center, and in right is Cardenas. So up to the dish goes Tristan Mercadel. Mercadel 0 for 2, looking to drive in some runs. He has a runner on at second. That is Brooks Stotler and Jaron Duran over at first. 4-2 lead for Long Beach State. Anderson with a long look in towards Daniel Cope. He finally gets a sign. Mercadell is showing, but the senior looks to put it down, but instead watches as that pitch just goes off the plate towards the outside for one ball and no strike. Cal State Fullerton in their Saturday Orange this afternoon. Long Beach State in their alternate. All black with white lettering across the chest and numerals as well. And then the off-white pants in addition to black socks to round out their uniforms. This one's bunted down the third baseline. Borgonio surprised by it. Initially, he'll toss over to first. And Hank LaFord is able to cover inside. But the sacrifice works for Long Beach State. And Tristan Mercadel, the senior, is able to use his experience and allow for both runners to move over. That one is recorded as a 5-4 sacrifice for just out number one. Now for Fullerton, you're looking at that right side of the infield, or listening as that right side of the infield no longer really has a chance at a double play in the traditional sense. Runners on second and third, Duran at second, and Stotler down at third. Duran angered earlier after Chaw hit him on the crown of the helmet. It looked like a pitch that just escaped from Shaw's hand. This one is fouled off to the left-hand side and towards the right. The fan trying to go after the foul ball ends up missing on his shot to go home with a souvenir and gets a couple of boos. No balls and one strike with one out. Four hits for Long Beach State. However, they have four runs, three of them coming across in the first inning. Here's Landon Anderson's next delivery. It's a very slow, sweeping curveball that ends up in the dirt in front of home. One and one. Infield is in. Borgonio at the edge of the grass down at third. Sahib Valenzuela, the same thing at short, playing in front of the runner, Duran. Hank LaFord is two steps onto the infield. And Pavlicic, a couple steps behind the first base bag. This bounces home to Daniel Cope once more. Two balls, one strike, and one out. Steven Rivas at the dish. 302 batting average with 10 RBI. He has 16 hits. Looking to make it more here as the outfield is in as well. Barry Hill in center takes five steps in, and this one is sent towards deep left field. Getting back on it is Richards. He will make the catch. But tagging up are both runners, and one will score. That is Stotler. A sacrifice fly that goes to left field. And there's out number two. But Long Beach State will take it because they bring across another runner. So far today, it's now 5-2. to two. The lead for the Long Beach State Dirt Bank as the Fullerton Titans are now chasing. 393 into straightaway center. About 120 feet away is Mitchell Berryhill from the center field fence. That one goes to the outside corner for no balls and one strike with two gone. Up is Chris Jimenez. Ryan Osborne. Talking to you now, earlier you heard Mike Martinez. He'll rejoin us in just a little bit. As the voice of Cal State Fullerton Baseball, 0-1. Looking for that inside corner was Anderson, but he's not going to get the call, so it evens the count at one apiece. 
Long Beach State, the Big West Conference champions last year. Cal State Fullerton getting an at-large bid into the tournament. They would come here to the regional. Lose game one, big time to Long Beach State as Anderson finds the outside half right at the knee. But then Fullerton comes back with two straight victories to take the Super Regional Series and move on to Omaha. Now Cal State Fullerton looking to end Long Beach State's season for the second year in a row with a victory. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Landon Anderson to the set and brings it home. He squeezes it. And instead, it bounces once more. That's the fourth pitch that Anderson has bounced home. 5-2, Long Beach State. They have one here in the fifth. And again, only four hits that they have recorded this afternoon. Borgonio playing tight to the line down at third. Valenzuela takes a couple more steps back, and it goes right to Borgonio. Perfect positioning as he tosses to first, and Pavlicic with a stretch is able to make the catch. That's going to do it for the bottom half of the fifth inning, where it ends up being one run on no hits, no errors, and one runner left on base. Chris Jimenez grounds out 5-3 to end the inning. As we go to a break, it's 5-2, Long Beach State over Cal State Fullerton. This is Cal State Fullerton Baseball on